another ROM review. Finally, we have Casa OS 2.2 new update, and from this security update from this month. And let's get it started. Don't skip the video because I will try to share every single details and my experience. I'm using this ROM for some days uh, when uh, it was released. Okay, let's get it started from the settings and. This is gonna be a deal breaker for you because uh, on, we have only one issue which is maybe very very major for some people actually more some uh, not for some people uh, for might be every single people will face problem and this is gonna be very bad and I will talk about that and here we have the kernel use which is JF the caramel kernel which is very very good just like lineage OS kernel very smooth experience and really thanks to maintainer Rizzle dev and we have android version 10 and casa os 2.2 as usual and we have other things like build number and build date if you can see it there and then we can go on system and casa os always always um, it's a vanilla build so you guys need to uh, use g apps separately and you have to flash it then we have the security as usual we have everything just like face unlock fingerprint and app locker is available as well so there is no issues with that and i'll already check everything is perfectly working and then we have the sound section as usual we have the all features then we have the battery section as usual we have all the features smart charging you guys can set maximum charging level and which actually boost your charging speed and this is really good and working fine okay then let's talk about casa os customization hub and battery backup personally i really love it it is really good we have a status bar as usual though it is android 10 but we have all the latest features from android 13 uh, traffic indicator sticker status bar as usual these are the features you already know then we have the quick settings brightness slider expanded when you need show always you can select that one and brightness control by sliding across the status bar which is cool and give us photo text you can add this one you know just like yes okay let me show you and here is a thing which is keep casa let me show you and this is the QS footer text then we have edit icons privacy indicators if you need privacy indicators chips then you can enable that one we have a screen view and background opacity can be changed QS tint if you like it then enable of course and how many rows and columns you can uh, you can you can set it no problem with that and we have quick settings animation or flip rotate you guys can select as usual and duration interpolator then we have buttons gesture okay jump to camera prevent ringing swipe a screenshot then we have the lock screen as usual the regular customization double tap to sleep fingerprint authentication charging animation which you need secure power menu and quick settings then we have the notifications notifications count if you need the notifications count then of course you can select that one and we have kill app button option and enable heads up notification or enable of course then we have the animations which is uh, only one option always just disable transition animation we don't need to disable transition animation because it's really really small and we have then have battery section okay you guys can customize according to your choice here then we have the miscellaneous and suspended action and adaptive playback and we have the uh, pre-installed ad block options from uh, miscellaneous features from settings and we have ignores window secure flags uh, allows signature spoofing uh, which bypass the security system by pretending to be a different application unlimited google photo storage and unlock high pace both are perfectly working there is no issues and these are the features and we have the customization now let's talk about the customization on settings which is from the launcher and this is definitely sh shady launcher and which is shady launcher really thanks to them and this is really cool we have some customizations here as well okay let's talk about app drawer we have the very interesting feature which is hidden application feature you guys will get it on 
on the launcher section everywhere then we have the grid option and dock icons uh, how many icons you need you guys can select and then we have columns and rows and then gestures as usual so all are done now let's talk about the control center and which is uh, just like android 10 as well and which perfectly working no issues now let's talk about the smoothness and which is really very smooth and mind-blowing this is cool okay let's talk about the camera now here is the google camera perfectly working i already tested a portrait nice side and videos everything is just fine no issues with that now let me show you uh, sorry let me talk about the important things and which is uh, really really very important and deal breaker thing and here we have the sound and vibration as well and we don't have any options for to enable uh, auto call recording or something and that's it and which is the deal breaker thing and I want to mention it earlier I wanted and which is the connection system and the connection system just uh, stuck I'm just want to make sure that you guys don't need to use this room for right now because uh, we have YouTube or uh, net connection issues because when you play any videos on YouTube you have to reload it again and again because uh, less than one minute you can play or enjoy any video less than one minute and then it and then the screen will goes black the screen will goes black and you have to restart the youtube or you have to reconnect your data that's it so that's this is the deal breaker thing and i that's why i don't recommend you guys to use this room right now wait for the next update so i hope you guys understand thank you for watching